Welcome, Welcome to, to our airstream for the night. Our long-term goal is to live in an earth roamer full time and travel between our properties. So we want to know, can we all fit in something this small? Watch the end of this video and see what kind of highs and lows we discover. We need to figure out if it's worth spending half a million dollars on this lifestyle. <laughs> The GPS has no idea how to get to this Airbnb at this point. Pulling into the Airbnb, here is the signs, looks like, and that looks like us on the right. There's the Airstream. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, let's see if we can the lights work in here. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I got more light switches. I'm a little afraid to touch that. Where are the lights? <laughs> Find the lights, Jacob. <laughs> nope. Those. Do you think we need to turn something on? Should be those light switches. Those are the only light switches here. Let's go outside and take a look. <laughs> See if there's a breaker or something. There is nothing about this in the welcome message. No. Oh, there's power here. It's running in to the Airstream and to this box. There is no power inside. All right, let's try this. What did you find? According to the host, they said, say, hey Google, turn on or off Oasis lights. Hey Google, turn on Oasis lights. The outdoor lights turned on, but we still don't have any indoor lights. Ooh. Hit the pa all the switches we turned on. Maybe that is the opposite. Nope. Lights aren't working, so we're going to have to message the host and ask them how we get power in here. I guess we will pause the tour and figure out the whole light situation. So we messaged the host. She came and walked right over and helped us. So apparently a couple of the lights were on a fuse that had blown. So she just fixed the fuse and then the lights turned on. So now we have all the lights. It's like magic. Whether or not we can live in a space this small, I'm 6'5", so we're pretty close. If I try to go under a light, I'm gonna hit the light. I can't stand up under it. So um, Earth Roamer, I believe, might be pretty similar size ceilings, but they don't have lights that hang down. This is an older Airstream, so newer stuff's usually built into the ceiling, so you don't have to worry about that. So it's pretty close. However, there is a lot of space in here. Um, we'll see when the dogs come in how they feel about it too. But look at the kitchen, a decent sized kitchen. So overall, first impressions, this space, the living room kitchen is totally livable for us. Going back here, we'll see, should be interesting. All right, so this side is the bathroom. Turn the light on. Probably, yeah, I mean, I could fit my knees here and I in the shower. Let's step in and see. Um, not really in this one. <laughs> so, uh, again, Earth Roamer is probably a bigger setup than this. The bed, let's, can I fit on the bed? Oh yeah, plenty of room. So, other than the bathroom, pretty good so far. I'd say uh, first impressions are, for me, we could probably do it. But I guess you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video to see if that's really true. That was for understanding the outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as expected. <laughs> Porter's not so sure about it at all. What do you think, Mia? You like it? Good girl. So these curtains just kind of tie up here and you untie them and then they just drop down, which is pretty cool. And they block out the light. I like to think that in general, we travel pretty late, but we need a blanket for the dogs because we use this instead of a dog bed. And especially when staying in someone else's Airbnb, we don't want to have them up on the furniture. And then I definitely want my own pillows when I travel. It's like the one thing I can't just sleep on any pillow. I need to make sure it's a nice pillow. So I bring my own pillows when I travel too. Okay, we posted up on this little workspace to try to get some work done. 
although I connected to the internet and I'm getting nothing. Um, my phone is telling me I have 10 new emails and my computer doesn't know anything about that. Um, Jacob is trying to upload a video, so he could be sucking up all the internet and I wouldn't be surprised if the connection out here is really slow. See if that works. My only concern is, I guess, if I don't get to my emails tonight, it's not a big deal, but we usually our evening routine consists of doing some computer work, catching up on business type things and watching a little bit of TV. So if this internet is pretty unreliable, that's pretty much all, all out the window and we didn't bring anything else to do. We just weren't anticipating that. Um, could have brought a book or a game or something, but we didn't. So could be a pretty slow evening in the Airstream. What do you think about having a snack quesadilla now and then a snack or dinner quesadilla later? What is a snack quesadilla? <laughs> it's a, it's just one quesadilla instead of multiple quesadillas. I am not a snack quesadilla mood. Okay. So you're welcome to make round one of quesadillas, but I want to wait and eat all my quesadillas <laughs> at dinner time. All right. I'm going to make my snack quesadilla. So let's take a look at how cooking is in this kitchen. This frying pan is pretty gross. It is dirty. Uh, so I guess I'll be cleaning it because it was not cleaned before we checked in. They do have a sponge and soap, which is nice. Do that first. Let's see if the water gets hot. So one thing that's super important as a host is to always make sure your stuff's clean. If you have guests coming, yeah, all this stuff just came right off. It looks like no one washed it before the last, after the last guest and before we showed up. So if you're a host, please make sure you clean your stuff or make sure you have your cleaners checked that the guests clean their stuff because no guests like coming to have dirty dishes or pots and pans, it's disgusting. The water is hot though, so that is quite nice. So this stove works a little differently. It does have something that says light, but there isn't any electric ignition. So I believe the whole point of the lighter here is to be able to light this. So there is a vent here. Let's see if we can turn it on. So the vent doesn't work. So we will be opening a window to be able to get circulation, cook, Because you cannot cook on gas without circulating or you'll die. All right, so get the quesadillas. They're in here. Well, the tortillas are in here. The quesadillas we have to make. Tortillas, cilantro, tomato, red pepper, guac. Oh, and cheese. There we go. Cheese. So this is exactly where, well, one, if you have an earth roamer, you'd actually have a full side dishes and you'd have a working stove. But being in an earth roamer that moves versus an airstream that's parked, you can actually just drive and get dinner if this happens. Let's bring Alyssa some fresh chips and some guac. All right, honey. Wow. Careful, they're hot. Oh, these look good. Let's get the Way chip. better than snack cases, yeah. <laughs> get the guac. Perfect. Mmm. They're really yummy. Mm. What do you think? Really good. Well, after the snack quesadilla and the chips, the chips actually turned out really well. We just decided we're gonna door dash it though. Um, it was a good attempt, but the kitchen doesn't have quite enough supplies for us to feel like we can make a full meal. And with the venting system, it's actually really cold outside. So it's making the airstream very chilly to leave the window open. So different plan for dinner. Heat up to like 86, I just turned it on. Um, and it's getting, it's getting warmer, but I'm still too cold to take my hat off. And the moment it turns off, I feel cold air. And even though we have these drapes down on the windows, obviously the air treatment is not very well insulated. Um, so that's something to know about not living in a house. It is much colder. This Airstream is probably from the 70s and the reno that has been done to it was probably done at least a decade or two ago, at least. New earth roamers are not like this. They are very well insulated and can stand up to cold environments. So this is definitely more unique on the older trailer. What do you mean by a new earth roamer though? Cause we are certainly not buying a new earth roamer. Well, even a pre roamed as earth roamer calls it, earth roamer is still only a few years old, like 
maybe 2020. We're in 2023, so three-year-old vehicle. We're not talking like something that was made in the 60s or 70s. All right, we'll add that to my list of things that I absolutely need to make sure get included in any sort of living situation is plenty of heat. Not a lot of places to eat. Pardon me. No. No, no, no. Go. Granted, we do have the table, but right now the table is filled with our computers and the dog food. So we will just make the couch and floor work. So there was a slight hiccup with our DoorDash order. Um, this Airstream is pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. So the DoorDasher had marked this as delivered, but we went out and we couldn't find it. Uh, and eventually they showed up. So for a moment there, we thought maybe we were going to have to go out and <laughs> venture out and get some dinner um, after a few attempts for quesadillas <laughs> and not having it delivered. But we got it. It's still still mostly warm. Any tips for using the bathroom? Just pull the door shut. Uh, something is... Uh, I think we are going to be... Very intimate in this airstream. Good morning. It's about 6 a.m. and I'm getting up to go to work. One of the challenges of living in a small place like this is we'll see if Jacob is able to sleep through my getting ready or if he ends up waking up. So, gotta get going. So now I'm going to try to shower in this Airstream and see how I fit. I forgot to bring my face wash into the shower. So do a quick face wash. If you haven't used Dime, we really love Dime. It works really well. It's all natural. We'll leave some links to what we use in the description below. If you're interested in picking some up for yourself. This stuff feels really good on your face, and you can tailor it to your skin kind. This sink wire doesn't want to get hot at the moment. As you can see, it's a very cold morning out, all frozen. Even the pond next to the Airstream is ice. Well, so far, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's a wall of pillows. <laughs> it's a wall of pillows. So far, it feels like there'd be plenty of space for us. Yeah. Apparently not for the dog, so... <laughs> you both want to be in the same spot. I do think this is probably 10 feet longer than Earth Roamer, would be my guess. I'm thinking it's probably a 30 foot airstream and ends around the closet section, bathroom section. That would definitely feel a lot smaller if we didn't have that whole bedroom area. Yeah, but it would be taller because this is rounded. It would be boxy Yeah. and higher, so... And it's gonna be wider, I think, than this. I mean, this space here yeah. feels like plenty. Even for yeah. us, when we both work remote, someone could sit on the couch, someone could be on the bed, someone could sit at this table. Yeah. Dogs could hang out on the floors, on the couch, on the bed. Yeah. I mean, obviously we'd have to try an earth roamer to know if we really could live in that full time. But I'd say we could, if we had an Airstream, given the face space that we have, I bet we could live in this full time easily. Yeah, no, I agree too. I think this is plenty big for us. 